Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did my first boil test on this Mahalo stove that I got from Mato New Pie. This is a uh, small alcohol side burner stove that he makes and sells. First test, actually it was my second test, the first one I goofed up by putting too much alcohol in it. But my second test with this was using three quarters of a fluid ounce of methanol, uh, two cups of 60 degree water in my Boy Scout type pot. Boil time came to 9 minutes and 9 seconds and then run out in 11 minutes 49. Said, you know, not exactly speed demon or anything like that, but it got the job done. Since then I got a couple of comments from people. Drunken Shooter said maybe it needs a pot with a flatter bottom. Like I've said, oops, sorry. This pot's been used so much, it's all dimpled and rumpled and everything. So when this is put on a pot stand, or on a pot, on a stove rather, it doesn't really seal tight. So what I'm going to do today is, the second comment that I got, second and third, was from uh, Mato New Pie himself. He said, no hole to equalize the pressure is necessary. The excess pressure can go back in the stove where the ends of the inner walls meet. When I had uh, showed this the other day, I said that there's holes in the bottom, there we go, for the alcohol to go in, but that there's no pressure release holes on the top here. I didn't realize that when uh, Mato Nupai made these, his band coming back, back around, let me see, there we go, the seam there is loose. When I made these in the past, that was quite a tight seam, almost as if it was one piece of metal. But looking at it, it does look like it's loose there, so I guess whatever pressure builds up in this, instead of pushing the alcohol down and out, just seeps in through that uh, overlap, which makes me wonder if that's even needed. Uh, so he had said that that goes out through there. A made a new pie also said try it with a small diameter pot like the GSI minimalist glacier cup etc so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to try it on this pot with two cups of water now on one of the older other videos that I saw that uh, made a new pie did he used the big pot I think it was seven and a half inches so I assumed and you know what they say about assuming that this should work so I'm going to try it today. This is a nice flat bottom. Fits on there like so. And we'll see what this does. So let me get my water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and we'll be back for a quick test. Okay, I've got my water set. Two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees in the GSI pot. Let me put that on top of the stove. Three quarters of a milliliter yeah, three quarters of a fluid ounce, about 25 milliliters of methanol put in the stove. I put one milliliter of uh, methanol out of the stove and onto the primer. So let me go to camera two here. Turn off the light. Okay, we're on camera two. Let me light this. Okay, that's lit. Start the timer. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there go the jets. Now you have to play with this primer pan thing. I don't do enough of it, so I don't really know how much alcohol to put on the primer pan for this setup. Already, you can I think you can see it's up to 68 degrees. But the primer pan is still going, so that forces out more of the alcohol into the flames. Wait until the uh, primer pan dies down. It sounds like it's just about ready to die down. The temperature is already up to 75 degrees in about 46 seconds. I think that one milliliter was probably way too much. but. The last one of the last times I tried this, when that went out like that, okay, so that was almost a minute for one milliliter of uh, alcohol in a primer pan. 
Now this is nice and flat, the pot, so it should be set, sealing off the stove and you can see the flames have gone down again. Okay, so now what we'll have to do is just see when it comes to a boil. Okay, I kind of missed the two minute mark. We're up to two, two and a half minutes. It's up to 104 degrees. I was taking pictures of the, uh, the stove for my opening shot. But uh, I guess the flames are coming up a little bit. So let's see where it goes from here. An interesting thing here, the stove is doing what I call huffing. Let's just watch this for a couple of seconds. See how it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Uh, like there's a pulsation of the uh, of the pressure in the thing. I don't remember it happening with the uh, Boy Scout pot on there, but I just thought it was kind of interesting. You can see we're up to 8 minutes 20 seconds, the temperature is up to 198, so we should soon be getting to the boiling point. Let me cut here and I'll be back when it gets there. There we have 210. Come on, don't run out on me. 211. Um, 212 in 9 minutes 41 seconds. Okay. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 79 degrees, 62 percent humidity, partly cloudy outside. And it got to a boiling of 212 degrees in 9 minutes 41 seconds. In the test yesterday, time to boil was 9 minutes 9 seconds and then it ran out at 11 minutes and 49 seconds. So let's see how long it takes from here. Okay, there we're going, going, gone, let's say in 12 minutes 22 seconds. Okay, interesting. Let me go back to camera one. Okay, back to camera one. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 9 minutes 41 seconds and then this time which is uh, yesterday's was 9 minutes 9 seconds so 30 seconds or so different time longer and it ran out in 12 minutes 22 versus 11 minutes 49 so that's about 30 seconds longer there also. Hmm. So I don't know why I can't duplicate the times that Mato Nupai was doing on his tests. Uh, could have a lot to do with the altitude. Mine, I'm sure, altitude, not attitude, but altitude. I'm a whole lot closer to sea level probably than he is in, in his area in Tucson, Arizona. I've had people say that, you know, I take temperatures and humidity levels, and I've had people say that I should really be keeping track of the atmospheric pressure, that I should get a barometer. If anybody has a barometer they want to get rid of, let me know. But uh, what can I say? That's the GSI Minimalist Pot versus my Lumpy Bottom Boy Scout Pot. Uh, I'm open for suggestions here. One thing I am going to do, uh, I have some, a couple of stoves from Colorado Camper that are similar to this. One is a uh, side burner with small jets. Now he does an interesting thing. Instead of having the pot sit right on top of the stove, he puts three nails in it that are just a smidgen above the top of the stove so that the pot sits on that and doesn't sit on here to cool it off. So I'm going to try these just for a reference point, plus I have to do tests on these. And I also have another one from him that must be a low pressure side burner. Same thing with the pot nails. 
Interesting, though, on these, hang on, let me move this chair. Colorado Camper also, can you see it there? Also has the little vent on the inside so that the alcohol pressure can go out through to the jets instead of building up underneath here. Now, his looks like a little bit tighter of a seal. Uh, all I can say is when I built a couple of these before, my aluminum went around a bit so it formed a real tight seal there. But I'm going to try these just for a reference point. But uh, I don't know. This is what I got from Mato New Pies Mahalo Stove. I'll leave links again down below uh, for the videos that Mato New Pie did. I'll also leave a search so that if you want to look for this on eBay, you can look for it there. I'm curious to see how long this lasts. I never had much luck with these over multiple uses. The aluminum just doesn't seem to like to stand up to the heat and everything. Okay, I think I've babbled on enough here. I thank Mato New Pie for giving me the opportunity to play with his little burner here. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.